Hey guys, Stimmt here, aka FCFin21, bring you episode 6 already of the Pokemon Insurgents playthrough I'm doing. Um, last episode we tried to take on the first gym and I failed miserably, <laughs> so I trained the squad up to level 25. Um, yeah, Alec didn't learn anything new, just like Isabel didn't, Lipert didn't, Spike didn't, Miklas did not, and cheeseburger already got the water pills I believe in the last episode so um, is there something in the box yeah magnet pool could be better but we're just gonna try this again um, I think I have to make use of the fact that I know he starts off with Full picks. So I think Miklas as a starting point wouldn't even be that bad. Um, did I stock up on super potions? I am pretty safe there. So let's do this. We've already done the text, so I am not gonna repeat that. We even had it twice already, so. Let's see, Vulpix versus Miklas. Dual Chop. Flame Burst, still is a lot. But Dual Chop is enough to take it out. So that's nice. I think Charmeleon, okay. Um, dual Chop still outspeeds me, damn. Sound like a strong. Uh, spike. Is Spike faster than Mick? Then XU, I. No, it's a speed tie. So Lipert can outspeed. Uh, I can do that. Lipert and fake out. Oh. Stall out Centaur. Stall out the Centurns. Sun attack. <sighs> Damn it. Um, cheeseburger. Rain dance. Outspeeds that even. Oh. Well, now we won't. Let's go, Cheeseburger. And Cheeseburger. Kind of run his course now because two grass types. I can do a two third about, or about two third. Oh, damn! I can do even more damage. Rain stopped. There we go. And last but not least, the very annoying Ivysaur. Uh, decent damage. But I still have three months left. And I can paralyze it with Thunderbolt. There we go. And I think Swift will be doing most damage. Thank you. And Spike, Magnitude, I think I am making this a little bit harder on myself because Isabel could have done this with the Psybeam, but I won, so I lost. But what a great game battle that was. Well, that wasn't all bad at all. What a great battle. Here you are, congratulations! Obtain the Thermal Badge. And as a reward, take this too. Flame Charge. Decent. That TM contains the move Flame Charge. It isn't the strongest thing ever, but it will boost your speed every time you use it. Your next gym will be in Vipex City, to the south of here. The leader Xavier has a forest theme, and he specializes in bug and poison types. Good luck, challenger! Okay. Bye! Excuse me! <laughs> hey Forza, it's me, Nora! Did someone run here just now? She looked panicked. I wonder what it was all about. I'm going to check it out and I am going to heal my team because with only two months left having any HP. There we go. Uh, do I keep Axu in the front? Um, sure, why not? 
I mean, Dragon Rage is always a decent move in the beginning of the game, so... And we go back in. There we go. Harmony, what are you doing here? I'm in the middle of my work shift. I'm accepting challenges right now. Orion, we need to get out of here. I saw cultists entering the city, and they were talking about you. I don't know what they're planning, but we need to get a get out while we still can. Are you serious? You're right. Can you help me carry this? My friend is pretty heavy. Are you serious? We don't have time for this thi again. There are cultists coming to attack you. Or worse. The thing is just a rock. It's not real. Ditch the imaginary friend and let's get out of here. For crying out loud, this is why they shouldn't let kids be gym leaders. Too late. Ah, my apologies for the loud landing. Legendary Pokemon are hard to control, you know. This beautiful creature name is Curum. It is a very powerful Pokemon. Its breath is said to be as cold as it can. It can freeze flames and electricity solid. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tane. I work for the cult known as Perfection. We're not quite as aggressive as the rest of the cults. We kind of do our own thing. But that doesn't mean you should take us lightly. We still have our goals and will stop at nothing to achieve them. Which brings us why we're here. No way! I'm going to protect the stone. You're not going to take away my friend. Your friends with the rock? Do you talk to it too? Are you guys best friends forever? That's so cute. Listen, Tane, was it? You're not acting very friendly here. Tell us what you want and leave. Tell you what we want? Well, you know what? We want the kid's rock. What? No way, i die first. It's been fun messing with you, kid. But now it's time that the adults to talk. Get out of the way. Not a chance, leave us alone. Insolent child. Did you just slap him? What's wrong with you? That's absurdly dis... What's that? That, my dear girl, is the reason we wanted the rock. Just because I mocked Orion doesn't mean I don't know what it truly is. Ooh. What? What is this? This is Reshiram, the being of truth. Many years ago, Reshiram, Mykurum and a third Pokemon, Zerkuron, used to all be a piece of the same Pokemon. However, fighting and war eventually split the three apart. Reshiram was sealed in a rock known as the White Stone, which seems to have fallen in Orion's care. It seems like Reshiram and Rem has fled. Very well, at least we managed to awaken it from the stone. And now we chase. Let's get going, Kyurem. We have a dragon to catch. Orion, I'm so sorry. I didn't believe you, but you were completely right. And now your friends fled off. I didn't see you two there. Who are you? Are you cultists too? No, of course not. We're trainers. Hmm, I didn't think so. You aren't dressed apart. My name is Harmony. I'm the gym leader of Sonata City. I specialize in normal and fairy types. Sorry you two had to see that. I'm assuming you're challengers. I'm a challenger. Forza beat Orion earlier today. I see. Can I trust you to, to keep... Uh, I tr can I trust the two of you to keep what's happened today a secret? Orion could be in danger if this news gets out. Oh, trust me. Forza and I have our own secrets to keep. I believe you. You can stop by Sonata City sometimes. You can shell... What's that? Reshiram, you came back. Oh, thank you. It's so good to see you again. I guess Reshiram couldn't abandon its best friend, even though it's probably be less safe here. It only really feels comfortable with Orion. Orion, you have to be careful. None of the challengers coming into the gym can see Reshiram. You never know who might spill the beans to the freaky blue-haired guy. I'd be careful, Harmony. I swear. Thanks for stopping by to help out. No problem. 
I need to get going. And I'm sorry for not believing you. Reshiram. Huh. I knew you were alive all along, but I never dreamed you were a legendary. I'll come and challenge you later then. I'm guessing you two have some catching up to do. Yeah. Thanks. I'll better you later, if that's alright. Hey Forza, you go ahead. I'll better Orion when he's ready, and I'll catch up with, up with you later, okay? Oh, and take this too. It'll help you to get around the region faster. Instant Leprous! So, um... While I was grinding up my team, I also got a phone call from the director. And he had another job for me. You see, we heard the reports of one of those very rare Delta species Pokemon over at the Rezai Desert. We'd like to check it out. Of course, you can catch it if you want. We just need footage for our TV show about finding wild Pokemon. Forza, the ratings from the last episode are out of the roof. If we would train, if we want to retain viewers, we have to be have an exciting a second episode. And guess what? Not only was there a rare Pokemon reported here, but the rare Pokemon's the Delta species. That's right, Delta Pokemon are the rarest of the rare. If you can find it, we'll be able to mo uh, we'll be the most popular po uh, channel on TV. Again, we've got helicopters everywhere in the area. All you need to do is use your skills as a trainer to find that Delta. If you want to capture it, you can. Just get out, uh, get us some good footage. Talk to my associate if you need tips. Well, that was easy. What's that thing trying to swallow? And... Great ball. One, two, three. Let's try this again. Great ball. One, two, three. Um, let's go out into Isabel. Sandsoon. It's whatever. Hypnosis. Damn it. <laughs> He's blind. Hypnosis. I'm blind as well. Oh, God. Serious. There we go. Great ball. Go. One, two, three, gotcha. So. Grimer, the quicksand Pokemon, a Delta species discovered by Echo the Third. With sand absorbed into its circular cir circulation, it can vanish into surrounding sand to escape from predators. And I promised Iron to be the next Pokemon I caught. So there you go. Forza, we got it on tape. Come back over here. No, I want to explore a bit. Um, even though there isn't much to explore, honestly. So, I get my payment. And we are done there. Um, do I want to backtrack and surf around a bit? Um, I do believe on the other side of the cave there was some... Nah, I'm going to move forward and I can do the backtracking part in between episodes. Uh, there's nothing. Um, so yeah, I can travel to this cave. And we are on Route 3 now. And you will be my first victim on Route 3 with your big wrath. And a female, very annoying, Dragon Rage. Um, I don't have a normal resist. What's my best special defensive mod? Nicholas is certainly not it. Um, I think Isabel is. So let's go for Isabel. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Um, hypnosis. Oh. Well, that sucks. That sucks very much. Uh, Mr. Kitty. You at least were out speed. That was not what I wanted to happen, but I guess I have to be cringe now. And pursuit. Uh, crit. And there we go. That's one. 
And Jurephoric. Okay, that's an easy target for Mr. Kitty. Normally. Uh, I want Cheeseburger to evolve, so... Water pearls. And level 26. Not sure at what level he evolves. I th think 30 now, but we'll see. Um, we still have a Pokemon to catch on the next route, by the way. But I want things to heal up. There we go. So I can at least keep everything trained up. I mean, I don't really mind all the grinding in between episodes, but it certainly isn't the most exciting thing to do in my free time. Ooh, a Ralts! Tracing my rivalry. So, Trace. Uh, I can false swipe you. And I can false swipe you again. There we go. One, two, three. And gotcha. And Ralts. I. Ralts, the feeling Pokemon. A Ralts has the power to sense the emotions of people and Pokemon with the horns on its head. It takes cover of its senses any host of it takes cover if it senses any hostility. Okay. Um I am not really going to use this with a Ivysaur with the exact same typing. So let's call you Dead Weight. Dead. I mean, it's not a bad Pokemon, it's just I already have the typing and yeah, it's just would just be a waste if I have it both with the um, Ivysaur in my team, so Ooh, Hitmonlee, it's a male and I'm dead, okay never mind, um, Isabel. I was like, oh, it's a mill, so rifle do will help me do extra damage, and then it was like, nope, I die. But Hidden Lee is down, it's about to accept a level, unknown, I can Draining Kiss, Hidden Power, Resisted, does so little, it's probably fighting or something. So, unknown is down, that gave a lot of experience, by the way. But we are quickly going to go back. So, so um, fun fact: I am rec normally I record an episode at the beginning of every morning that I post it. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. But tomorrow on Wednesday I have a doctor's appointment and I can't really record um, before that. So I am pre-recording uh, this episode now. So not sure if anything is going to get, uh, someone is going to react to something this uh, late for episode 2, but we'll see. Uh, slowly but surely I'm chipping away at it, but struggle bug slash I de oh, damn you. Um He outsped a 39 speed. So Thunderbolt will probably be fast enough to outspeed it and take it out. Thank god. And Thunderbolt will take a lot of experience from this. Light screen, nah. I want this thing to be more offensive. Bug, poison, spike. Uh, that's fine. I am planning to just roll out over the rest of his Pokemon. There goes the Beedrill and... Thunderbolt also got a level. Volbeat with Tilglow gets taken out by Rollout. 
Bye. In my previous playthrough, I remember I had so much trouble getting through that trainer because of Toxic Spike's B drill and the Ilamise just keep heal keep it that kept on healing. Didn't really have a great matchup, so glad I got through that pretty easily. Uh, but I need Axew to evolve because, yeah, his stats right now are pretty underwhelming because around this level most Pokemon are already at least one stage evolved and if they haven't evolved that single stage their stats are pretty decent so far. Uh, you found me, Red. I'm proud owner of a Red Delta Pokemon. I can trade if you want my Delta Scythe over any Steel type. Ooh. I think I am going to. Yeah. You know what? I am gonna leave it to you again. If I am. If you think I should trade that Delta Scyther for. I think I only have Magnemite, so for my Magnemite. Let me know down below, and if I don't hear anything from anyone, I'll just do it next uh, episode, or in between episodes. Well, that was fun. Spike doesn't even outspeed, my god. How fast is that Chinchou? Chinchu. Chin thing. Yeah, my what are we? My water matchup isn't the greatest as well. <sighs> so many confusions. <laughs> Static, snapped out, and he dies. So that's the until down. Crocano, I just thunder wave it for sure to ensure I get that paralysis and. Isabel, Leech Seed, and I pretty much have this in the bag now. Psybeam. And Psybeam, there we go. And Isabel took another level, that's nice. Um, I'll surf back, because for some... I was just about to say, for some reason I feel like those surf encounters normally give less and or the surf path is giving less encounters than just regular grass, but you'll always see the second you say things, the game will just be like, nope, that's not true, and here's why. So, yay. But we got actually healed up again, and we go. Hopefully, I can reach the next town before the end of the episode. I mean,. I think I should be able to make it that far at least. I mean, I feel like this is around the halfway point, maybe a little bit further than that, so. Another Rolls. I found a single Pokeball, damn. Find of the Sentry, calling it. Um, let's see, a. Fairy, electric type, or electric fairy, so Mikos is definitely going... <sighs> and f oh, that crit mattered. Withdrew for Magnamity. I'm not a f oh my god. Thank you. Spike. And learn Slash. Yeah, of Crush Claw, for sure. Five less power points, trading it for that higher crit chance. Gear grind, fine by me. Um, Mr. Kitty, you are still to level 25, so. And we're gonna get faked out. It's not doing anything. Pursuit, yeah, uh, as soon as I have something better. AKA that, uh, oh god. Um, once I have that Delta Scyther, that thing is definitely getting on the team. Um, yeah, Miklas because of Dragon Rage. 
There we go. Slash into the charm. I mean, Slash does have a higher crit chance. Not noticing it. No. Oh. Again, you just love it when the game be is like, nah, not really. What you're saying is a lie. Yeah, okay, thank you. Was a bit worried that the game would crash. Um, let's heal up. There we go. Um, well, I am going to use a full heal then on Nicholas. Do I have a revive? Yes, there we go. And I think if Miklas is getting to level 27, I immediately just put in a rare candy into him because it's just so much work to level that thing up. Gloom. Uh, opposite gender, so I better do Dragon Rage. Um, yeah, that shouldn't be doing that much, and Dragon Rage should take it out there. And that's another level. Blossom is a male, so dual chop is not even a two shot. Gets close though. And he's probably. Yeah. Thought so. Slash. Ooh, level 28. Dragon Claw. Look what the cat dragged in. Um, d yeah, because accuracy. Still no evolution. Matchy Town. Let's heal up. Um, secret base. Lovely. Uh, let's see. Is anyone having something interesting to say? Some of the water in the city is darker than the rest. Could have been that there's more water down below. I wonder how deep it goes. Do you know Nora from Midnight Town? She, she's actually my sister. She grew up in this very household. Okay, great, I guess. How is that? How is it that in almost every region, it's always a kid that saves the world from the teams? I would understand it if there were one or two flukes victories, but that can be a coincidence. Mm, fair. I'd like to give you a gift. Okay, thanks, I guess. Charge beam. I just love spending time with my Pokemon. My Luxor and I have so many great moments together. Like what? I mean, it's a Luxray. I mean, Luxray isn't bad, but... Would you like to buy this egg off of me? I found it in my journey and hardly need it. Sure, why not? I can hatch it in here, so... Uh, fire types. Do I have one? No, I do not. Actually, I think... Sub zipper. Ooh, nice. No, no fire type. So, Lipert, you are getting out of the team for now. And look who it is! Hey Forza, how are you doing? It's me, Nora. I see you finally made it to Mechi Town. I love this place. I used to live here actually. I just wanted to meet up and talk about something. But first, how about we battle? There aren't exactly any cults around to find out, so why don't I just I show you exactly why my Celebi is so dangerous? I uh, five v five. Uh, fair enough. But my starting matchup isn't, like, wonderful. <laughs> I totemize, it became nimble and speedy, and Shadow Sneak is doing damage, and I don't even KO it with one magnitude, so I need another, and if he went for the magnitude 10 last turn, it was already done, but whatever. Flowets. What is my fairy switch in? What do you know? I don't have one. Magnitude 6. Doesn't do that much. Magical Leaf. I live one. Ma Magnitude 7 is a kill on the Floet. Thank you. Next up. Swatloon. 
I can use one for Yuri Cutter. But Razor Leaf is going to take me out, but I knew that already. So Miklis can come out and play. Dragon Claw this. That's Swatloom for you. Bayleaf, Dragon Claw. Ooh, big crit. Oh, it was a speed tie, I guess. Well, Bayleaf goes down. Celebi, Dragon Claw, Miss. So many grass types, and. Honestly, I don't have much for grass types. So I guess that sucks. <laughs> Predicted. Magical Leaf, Draining Kiss. I'm not doing anything to this Celebi. Oh man, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Especially if I have to Super Potion up in between turns. No longer protected. Come on, I could have. You know I have. Hypnosis. Uh, Thunderbolt, you are not going to do, mu do much, aren't you? And you can, you are able to get off a thunder wave. Uh, healing. Because I know I can live at least one, so I am waiting for that sweet paralysis again. Or getting critted, of course. I mean, that's also a possibility, but. The chance of a paralysis is bigger than the chance of a crit, so I take those odds. But so far, again, the game is proving me wrong for some reason. Fresh water. There we go. Um, Swift. I do have gust on my cheeseburger, so... I'm going to count on that. No. Thank you. No boost. Thank you. So cheeseburger, you can finish this up for me. Gust. Thank god. I barely made it, but I did. Even with Celebi, I can't win. Wow, that was intense. I'm starting to get convinced that prophecy was about you instead of me. I wish I were able to read it. That way I could know for sure. Anyways, I need to talk to Damien. He seemed trustworthy, so I told him that Celebi... So I told him about Celebi and Mew, but I don't think I fully explained it to him just how important it is for him to shut up and not talk about it. Would you mind doing it for me? Last I heard he was headed south to Vipex City to challenge Savior. I do it myself, but I have some other things to on my mind. I'll see you around, Forza. Um... Yeah, I think she will. Um, I'm going to finish up here. Let me know down below if I should take the Delta Scyther. I think it's a worthy th uh, trade worthy to make, so... Yeah. Let me know, know down below. Uh, it was a blast. See you next uh, Friday, and yeah. Bye!